my father was uh, a child of his generation. I remember he was around, um, but very absent. He was around quite a bit. He worked really, really hard for everything that he had. He died when I was uh, six months old. He was one of those dads that uh, didn't express outwardly in words very much. We never had a close relationship, never did anything together specifically. He did a lot of things right, but we didn't realize it. He was always a rock that we could always depend on in our, in our household. Growing up, I don't know, there was like a void in my life. We would just throw the football back and forth. He would teach me how to like throw a spiral. It's one of my fondest memories. He worked almost 80 hours a week for 15 odd years. So I didn't really get to spend a whole lot of time with my dad. I was always craving his approval. Just he's not the most verbal person. He's not the most social person, so. He never said it. Always thinking that, well, because I give you the necessities of life, you should know it by osmosis. Uh, my mother was primarily the one who gave me advice. And I remember actually one night like watching him hit my mom, and that's the last time that I really remember him being around. And when I was 12, I found out that I was the product of an affair. My sense of person and who I was uh, was kind of ripped away from me. I had, I guess, anger issues when I was younger. I never had a father, so I just kind of had to figure stuff out on my own. I didn't realize until recently that was all rooted in my father being absent. So I definitely believe it affected my ability to raise my children in that aspect. When I had children, I really wanted to be a good dad. I don't think anybody has the manual on fatherhood or really what to do. Once I was born, um, I just felt afraid. I worked hard at not disappointing them even though I did. Luckily, I had a very good example to follow. Uh, but so many times we get off track and, and we don't follow that example. So I'm actually really excited to have kids so I can fulfill that role. We have a wonderful family where we're really involved and communicate well with each other. The strength lies in being transparent. Be there, uh, be honest, and, and be the type of person you would want your son to grow up to be. It's not always being a really great provider, but it's really about spending time. When you don't feel like doing what they want to do, do it anyway. Be creative and give them a challenge. The biggest thing I take away is, is being there counts. Open cake, subscribe!